Disclaimer, this opinion video about film music between Star Trek and Star Wars is an opinion-based video, not so much fact-based or research-based. It's purely my opinion and my preferences for the two franchises. So please don't fight me in the comments about which franchise is better because of the music. Um, it's basically my opinion. You're welcome to disagree, but this is just how I feel. Hello everyone! It's so great to be back in front of a camera. I am Underworld Guardian, for those who do not know or may forget my lovely face. Um, you can see I'm in a new environment with a spinny chair. So spinny chairs make everything beautiful. This is my bedroom, but it's in a different layout than I had it before. So it allows me to record, and I also have a new computer setup, which eventually I would like to make a video about like my entire setup that I have right now. But that's not what this video is all about. Um, this video is going to be why do I prefer Star Trek over Star Wars, the infamous battle that many, especially sci-fi fans, face all the time and probably get asked the most often out of preference questions like which franchise do you prefer over the other one usually don't hear people asking do you prefer trek over alien usually don't hear that you usually hear is it trek versus wars that's what you basically hear so let's get into it um the reason i decided to do a video about this is because i became a fan of both of these during my senior year of high school and often I get posed the question, which one am I more of a fan of, per se? And usually, this is how I go about answering this question. I say, well, lore-wise, I'm more familiar with Star Wars because I've seen most of the movies, ex with the exception of the three prequel movies and the new movie Solo that just came out, like, I think a week ago. Like, I'm kind of familiar with the Expanded Universe, not really. Thank you, Film Theory, for that. Um, but lore-wise, I'm more familiar with Star Wars than I am with Star Trek because Star Trek I have to watch like, what, nine shows? Nine TV shows and like a billion movies when I've only seen like three movies and like two episodes of the original series. So lore-wise, I'm more of a Star Wars person or more of a fan of Star Wars, but when it comes to like characters and the plot going on, I'm more familiar with Star Trek for some reason. I just, Star Trek just kind of clicks with me in that way, I guess. I'm on, I'm on summer vacation, obviously, because I am home. Um, I just had time to like reflect on it. Um, I've been listening to some film score. I've been listening to just music in general. I finally finished Life is Strange Before the Storm. Maybe by the end of the summer, I will finally make that video that I promised last summer that I would make. It kind of just like hit me over the head. Like, why didn't you consider the music? into your which one do you prefer and i'm like good idea passed me for like ever considering that now accounting music into like the franchises i somehow i i prefer star trek over star wars if it comes down to a music being the deciding factor star wars music yes both films music is iconic but i think Star Wars music is more iconic because there's more people just know if you hum like the first like measure or two of like the like the um original horn theme from Star Wars, people are gonna know it. If I were to hum the opening track to Star Trek, not many people are gonna know it. So Star Wars music is more iconic than Star Trek. Both people like, both are known, but Star Wars is more known, especially the meme song that came from Phantom Menace. Personally, the only- like, of course, I enjoy Leia's theme. I enjoy, um, the Imperial March. I enjoy listening to Phantom Menace theme. I, I don't remember what it's called. Um, I enjoy listening to those themes from the original series and then the one from the prequels. But the only ones I really enjoy from the new trilogy excluding um the one-off series so like rogue one and solo excluding those is really only race theme that's the only theme from the modern star wars series that i actually really enjoy everything else just really sounds bland i guess i couldn't really think of another word not to say john lambs is a bad writer 
or a bad composer, I should say. He's a fantastic composer. He's done so many works, and we are blessed to have this man exist in this universe for the sake of his compositions and what he has done for the film music industry. After I sit down and listen to the soundtracks to one of the Star Wars movies, I'm going through the playlist on Spotify, and they all just really sound... Most of the tracks sound the same. They don't sound different from each other. Like, yes, there's stylistic differences because of what's going on in the current scene, but, like, I don't, like... There isn't much of a distinction. Like, they all sound similar. Like I said before, Trex music is also iconic, but to a lesser extent, it's more for those, I guess, hardcore fans who really do know the Star Trek music. They're like, oh yeah, I recognize that theme, but other people would be like, I have no idea what you're doing. I recognize it, but I have no idea. The overarching themes, so like the Enterprising Young Men theme, to Boldly Go theme, like those themes are usually like overarching themes throughout the entire movie score. So like you'll listen to one track towards the end of the movie and you'll hear the Enterprising Young Men theme and be like, oh, I recognize this. I guess that kind of happens sometimes during the Star Wars movie, Star Wars um, tracks, but maybe to a lesser extent, I haven't really noticed it personally. Usually when listening to Star Wars tracks, I get bored for some reason. I don't know. Going back to my main point, like all of the music for Trek, each track sounds different to me. Like, I can probably sit here and tell you like, five different tracks alone from the Star Trek Beyond soundtrack because I they each have a different distinct way how they sound and they're each different from each other. To kind of go off of that into a different direction like maybe as to why I prefer Trek over Star Wars when relating it to the music. I remember when I saw Star Trek Beyond in theaters which came out two years ago. Oh wow that was two years ago. I literally sat in the theater during opening credits, during the opening horn solo, and fangirled. I'm not talking about like fangirling to myself, like I was like almost on the verge of tears, smiling like an idiot, fangirling about the music. Like nothing has come on the screen yet. It's been it's opening credits. It, it like it, it didn't show Spock yet, they didn't show Kirk yet. No, it was me fangirling over the music. Not even like, see, it's Star Trek. Just the music alone, because it sounded amazing. When I saw Last Jedi in theaters six months ago, I remember seeing in theaters, and I was fangirling over the movie itself. Now, people's opinions about the movie, they vary, but like, it's Star Wars. You're gonna, you're gonna fangirl about seeing like, Rey or lightsaber battle. You're gonna fangirl about that stuff. So like, I sat in the theaters like fangirling about like, wow, this is so cool. And like, about the movie itself, not, necessarily the music. I'm not purposely sitting here trying to trash talk either franchise. Both franchises are great in their own ways. They both contributed to the science fiction community in such amazing ways. I mean, we talked about it in my sci-fi literature class, even though it was a literature class and not a film class. We sat there and talked about it. I gravitate to the music of Trek more than I do to Star Wars for some reason. And maybe I just need to do some more searching and listen to the soundtracks more to finally like figure out like why that is. But um, perhaps like the idea could be like, maybe I just prefer Michael Giacchino's sound. Maybe I just prefer how he composes things. For those who don't know, Michael Giacchino is the composer for the, the modern Star Trek movies and also for Rogue One, fun fact. And then of course, John Williams did Star Wars and Harry Potter and E.T. and Jaws and all of these other great movies, um, classic movies. Maybe maybe it's just I prefer just Giacchino's style when it comes to him writing music. It's really hard to say unless I were to sit down and do like an analysis of like basically every thing each person wrote and be like, all right, which, what, what do I prefer more? I do have to say, um, Star Wars movies never had me running to Spotify immediately after I got out of the movie to listen to the soundtrack. Like, after I watched Beyond, like, I literally drove home with my ex-boyfriend, got home, and I started listening to the soundtrack. Because I loved it. I loved it so much. Star Wars never had me doing that. Like, I think for Rogue One, I might have. Because there was this one theme I heard during the movie that I really wanted to see. And it was the Rogue One title theme that I really wanted to, like, hear and find and, like, favorite it on Spotify. But other than that, most of, like... 
my Starlash Jedi. I wasn't running to my car, running home to go listen to the soundtrack. No, I was running to my car so my ex-boyfriend and I could debate if we liked or hated the movie. Oh, that was a fun time. And I don't mean that sarcastically. Maybe, like, maybe that's why, like, Trek, I just like Star Trek more because the music just has me, I'm really attached to the music, thus I'm really attached to watching the movies. So when I watch the movies, I feel really happy because I really like the music, so it kind of goes hand in hand. And it also comes down to the, possibly, the idea of, like, Star Wars was kind of forced upon me because like if you're like a junior or senior in high school and you haven't seen Star Wars people are gonna look at you like what do you mean you haven't seen Star Wars like are you kidding when people always say like oh you don't know who Kim Kardashian is you don't know who this person is like how could you not know it's kind of like with that I like a lot of people when I told them like oh I've never seen Star Wars they're like how have you never seen Star Wars before you like the music why haven't you seen it I'm like because I Star Trek was a, just a natural curiosity for me. We played the, we were playing the music in senior year concert band, and I told my boyfriend at the time, like, hey, I kind of want to watch Star Trek 2009, and he's like, I kind of have the movie, so let's watch it. And that's kind of just how I became a nerd for Star Trek. So Star Trek was a natural curiosity versus someone telling me, like, oh, you need to watch Star Wars. Because, like, if I were to say to someone, like, yeah, I've never seen Star Trek before, people would be like, oh, okay, no big deal. But if people now were like, oh, you haven't seen Star Wars? Like, what's wrong with you? You need to go watch Star Wars right now. We're going to binge watch all nine movies, including Rogue One. Like, in conclusion, I believe, in general, just not just me, I feel like music definitely plays a role in if you like a movie or not. Like, you can't sit into a- th you can't sit and watch a movie if the music is just jarring. Like, unless if you're purposely trying to do that, then props to you. But I know- I pref I like movies with good music because that means I can listen to the soundtracks afterwards and like know like, oh, like I'll either have like images of the movie or I'll be able to like picture other things or maybe like put them on my YouTube channel or something. Like. Yeah, I think like most people are like that. Like if they don't like the music, they're not gonna like the movie. The music in the end is always why I think I'll always prefer Star Trek over Star Wars. Um, Cause the music is just, it just resonates with me more. Like I just love the music. I love how it was written. I love horn solos are the bane of my existence. If you put a horn solo in anything, I will probably love it. Yeah, definitely the music in the end of everything after like, the stories, the characters, the all different things in these different universes. I think the music will always be my reason why I prefer Star Trek over Star Wars. Um, like I said, the music's great. Um, can't really go into much more detail because it is my personal preference. Because, like, I just prefer the music of Star Trek. Like, not saying Star Wars' music is bad. Like, the iconic themes are amazing. They're always going to be amazing. I just prefer Star Trek's music over Star Wars. Again, like I said in the beginning, um, still are both great and fantastic franchises. They've both done amazing things for um, the science fiction community and also for just people in general. Um, and they're made by great people and the music is composed by both amazing and talented um, musicians. So this video is not meant to be a diss in any way. It's just my personal preference. I just prefer Star Trek over Star Wars. And I will proudly say that as a geek and nerd I am. That is the end of this vlog video. I, I don't know what to call this. If you like this video, please give it a giant thumbs up. It would be greatly appreciated. Um, it lets me know that you guys are liking videos that I do like this and what to start making more of. Let me know what you're thinking. Like, do you feel that you like a movie more because of the music or does music not matter to you in a movie? Do you prefer Star Trek over Star Wars or do you prefer Star Wars over Star Trek? Or do you personally like, I don't care, I like both. Um, and if you're also in the middle, would you consider the music possibly being an option as to why you would prefer one of the other? I'm very interested in this uh, conversation, so if you want to leave a comment below, that would be great. And that is all. Thank you guys for watching. Keep practicing, and I'll see you guys real soon. Underworld Guardian, out.